This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that sets breakpoints and sets up a watch list to watch variable values as they change each time a breakpoint is hit. Here's the package I'll be using for this demonstration, and it's pretty simple. I'm going to use a for each loop container with a file system task inside it to copy five Excel files from one folder to another. And you can see down on the bottom that we have three variables defined. Each time we go through the for each loop, the name of the file will change, and therefore the source path and the destination path will change. So I'll show you these source files. And so you can see they're just numbered one through five. And then uh, we'll just be copying them to another folder that's called dest folder. So to set up a breakpoint, um, you can right mouse click on any task and you can also right mouse click here on the canvas. Um, so you will go down and find edit breakpoints and uh, you're given a lot of options there. So I'm going to actually set the breakpoint on the 4-H loop container. So I right mouse click on the 4-H loop container and then I go down to edit breakpoints and there you can see again we have a lot of options here. So we have you know things like uh, break when the container receives the on pre-execute event, on post-execute, on error, on warning, on information, on task failed, on progress, on query cancel, on variable value changed, on custom event, and then the last one is the one that I want to use in this demo. And uh, so it's going to break at the beginning of each iteration of the loop. And here I have other options also. So it's, it defaults to break every time, so always. Um, I can also set it to, you know, if the count equals, let's say, so I know I have five files in there, so let's say I want to have it stop on the, the last one. And uh, so I'd put a five there. I can also set it to hit, like, not the first two, but, oops, uh, let's say I wanted to hit on when it's processing the third file, and then it would hit on the fourth and the fifth also. Or I can say I want it to uh, hit every second file. So it would skip the first file, and then we'd get a hit on the second and the fourth files. And when I say it'll skip a file, I mean it will not stop for the breakpoint but it will still copy the file over. All right, so for our first pass, I will leave it set like this and I'll close the edit breakpoint. And so what we want to do is we want to watch the variables as they change. And I can't set that up before I start the package executing and hit a breakpoint. So I'll execute the package now. Stay tuned to see how I set up the watch list to watch the variables. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? Especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS Dataflow components transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. 
Download Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio. So the red dot on the 4-inch loop container changed from just a solid red dot to a red dot with a yellow arrow in it, and that means we have hit a breakpoint. And now I'm going to go up here to Debug, and then I go to Windows, and then I can go down to Watch. So we're going to set up a watch window to uh, see the value of the variables each time we hit a breakpoint. So I can just drag each of the uh, variables up here. Oops. To the watch window, and I chose watch one. And uh, so anyway, there you can see we have all the variables in the watch window now. You can see that the name of the file that is being processed is to file now, so we're on the second one. So now I need to click up here on attach to get it to resume execution. And there you can see the name of the file is for file, so we're processing the fourth file. And then I click on continue and it completes. And then if we go over to the dest folder, you can see all five files were copied over here. But we only hit a breakpoint for the second and the fourth file. So now I'll change this. So I right mouse click again on the 4-H loop container. And I go to edit breakpoints. And I'm going to change it to, uh, to always here. So we should get a hit for all five of the files. All the variables are still going to be in the watch window whenever we hit a breakpoint. So I'll execute. And there you can see we hit uh, the breakpoint for file one, or for one file. And I click continue. Now it's two file, continue three file, continue four file, continue five file, and continue one more time to complete execution of the package. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.